Tom, uh, big semi-final this weekend and uh, as one of the guys uh, 80 minutes away potentially from, from that final spot, uh, must be a lot of excitement around the place. Yeah, I mean, boys are training for it, working hard, a lot of uh, excitement in the changing room on the field, like showing in our games how we're training. I think boys are really like pushing for it. One game away from a potential final, we've got that you know home advantage, uh, thanks to the sale versus Bristol game last week, and I feel like it isn't going to be an easy ride for us. And I think Sale are going to you know, look at last week's performance and want to come hard at us, so we really have to put our A game on for them. It's a competition which over the years has given youth its chance here at the Chiefs and like, we're going to put you in that bracket. You are a younger player, but it's, it is a chance for you to show the coaches what you're all about in a big big game scenario. Yeah, I mean, you don't get many chances as a youngster um, going through the system. It's, it's, it's quite hard to get a spot and once you have that opportunity, I think you need to take it as soon as you can. And um, looking on Sunday, it's like a big opportunity, not just for me, but other players who have been put in the position to face sale and... Uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it, put some um, pace and skill onto the ball. What are you expecting from Sale? We know kind of what they bring. Yeah, I mean, they're a big dominant pack. They like, they've like got their running threats in the backfield. They 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 do well around the park, so we're hoping to play like we usually do, don't let them get to us and just put on a good game for them. Fans have talked about seeing a vibrant, sort of young, youthful uh, Chiefs coming through. You're part of this next generation that the club are banking a lot on. Is it? Uh, is it great to be playing with your mates and playing in, in occasions like this? Yeah, I mean, I've I've played with the likes of uh, Iwan Jenkins through eight, like, academy years, so it's quite fun like going through the system with him, going up to these big games, these big moments like a semi-final. It's very exciting. It means we, we've got a lot of chemistry. We've got, we played together for ages, so hopefully that aids us to this win. Obviously, this was a trophy that set the Chiefs going all those years ago, but... For any club, if you're, you're one game away from a final, you want to give, throw everything at it, really, don't you? I feel like every game is like that, but you can let the pressure get to you, or you can just go on with it and play it like a normal game and put everything on the table like we always do. We've done that from the start of this competition against Bristol and Gloucester, and it's got us this far, and we're hoping just banking on that and putting 100% out there all the time. For you, Tom, has this been kind of a breakthrough year for you in a lot of ways where you're playing a bit more with the first team or you've been around the first team squad and trips to South Africa yeah. and things like that? I mean, I've, yeah, obviously didn't get as much opportunity last year, but this year I've had opportunities and I like to say I've taken them and I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've learned a lot of things from the scrum after year, like Jack Mulder, Sam Mulder and Stu. Like they're great role models to me and they provide a lot of um, information for when I get into that like spot and they just feed off their experience. They they help in a lot of ways and push me onwards. Equally, Ricky does a lot with you, doesn't he? He's been superb for you over the years. Yeah, I couldn't thank Ricky enough, to be honest. He's been there since day dot, um, through my academy days. He's pushed me, I've trained extra hard. He's put in the hours, put the graph with me. So it's not just been a solo performance. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff with Ricky Pillow. He's uh, a great coach and he's been helping me ever since.